join kids hat family <laughs> Tofu, can you take the floor please? I will climb up the ladder and do the shelves at the top. Why do I have to do the floor? Because the shelves are higher and tougher to clean. You are just saying that because you don't want to do the floors. Oh boy, Tofu, it's not that. You won't be able to reach the shelves, trust me. Sure, I will be. Okay. Come on up then. But let me tell you, you're being like the crab. Like the crab? Now what's that? Come, I'll tell you a story. Once upon a time there lived a crab in the sea. I am so bored of living in the sea. I think the meadow behind the beach is a better place for me to be. I will move there. And so the crab came out of the water and made its way beyond the beach. and into the meadow Ah this is the life I wonder why I didn't do this earlier Unknown to the crab a fox had been watching him since the moment he came into the meadow One day when he found the right moment he attacked him I have been waiting for this moment I will eat you now The crab tried to hide but it didn't know how to Not on land anyway he was not familiar with the terrain at all It's my fault. I should have stayed in the seas and the beach where I belong and know how to protect myself. Well, yes, but now it's too late for you. Saying so, the fox quickly ate the crab and ended his life. Do you still think you can handle the tall shelves? Ah, uh, I think I will wait till next year to find out. For now, I will just take care of the floors. Tofu, I'm sorry, but you didn't clear the football team selections this year again. You can try next year. But coach, give me a chance please. I promise I'll do my best. Oh tofu. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet you won't be able to clear the selections next year too. Joe, stop being mean or I won't select you either. Uh, I'm sorry coach. What's up? Did you clear the selections? No, Tia. I didn't clear it this year too. Joe told me 
I can never do it. Let people talk. You should never let your confidence down by listening to all the negative things that people say to you. I feel terrible, Tia. I can never get in. I tried so hard this year. Tofu, you want to hear a story about two frogs that faced the same problem but tackled it differently? Yes, please. Never stop believing. Not so long ago, a group of frogs were roaming around in the forest looking for water. Accidentally, two frogs fell into a deep pit. They were terrified to death about whatever just happened. The other frogs got worried about their friends. They thought that the pit was too deep and they would not be able to escape it. Hence, they should stop trying to find a way out. You will never be able to come out of the pit. It's too deep. It looks impossible, my dear friends. What do we do now? All the frogs kept trying to discourage the two frogs while they tried to jump out of the pit. Despite all the effort, they kept tumbling back into the pit. Oh, my dear friends, you were right. We will never be able to make our way out of the pit. There is no point trying. We must keep trying. Come on, jump higher. We can do it. I'll die. Oh no, I'll die. And as the discouraged frog said these words, he died on the spot. Oh no, my friend, you gave up too soon. And as the frog died, all the other frogs wept with sorrow. Nevertheless, the other frog kept trying until he jumped so high that he escaped the pit. I made it! I made my way out! All the other frogs were shocked at what just happened and were left in awe. To everybody's surprise, the other frog turned out to be deaf and hence he couldn't hear the discouragement thrown at him. He thought his friends were cheering him on. The deaf frog proved that people's opinion of you will affect you only if you believe their words rather than believing in yourself and being confident. Tia, this plant looks beautiful. What is it called? It's a peace lily. It blooms into beautiful white flowers. Wow! Can we buy this? Of course, Tofu. We can buy this. Let's go home now. I think we have bought enough plants. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. These plants look so beautiful. Yes, they look amazing. But Tofu, do you know, we need to feed these plants like we feed ourselves with food and water to grow and stay healthy? Hmm, how can we feed plants, dear? Just like we need food and water for our growth, plants need it too to survive. We must regularly water the plants and keep them in sunlight. But remember, too much water and sunlight exposure can kill the plants too. Okay, Tia, I will keep that in mind. But can you explain me more about how to take care of plants? Sure, Tofu. Let me tell you a story. Taking care of plants Once upon a time, there lived two neighbors who were very fond of plants. One of them watered his plants regularly and the other one didn't. Whoa! The breeze is so swift! I am loving it! Oh God, no! I am afraid! I might break my stems! I feel so weak and hungry! Why are you hungry? Doesn't your owner feed you? I am afraid not! I feel I might break down very soon! the warm 
sun. You are so lucky to have an owner who takes care of you. Look at me. I fear I might not live for long. My owner doesn't take care of me at all. The unhealthy plant withers day by day while the healthy plant blooms into a beautiful shrub. The happy plant's owner watered it regularly, gave it sunlight and cleaned it too. On the other hand, the withering plant's owner neglects it and forgets to feed it. Hence, it dies. Tia, this is so sad. There must be so many people who forget to take care of plants in such a busy life. You're right, Tofu. Plants help us survive and we are the ones not taking care of them. I'm afraid there might be a day when there won't be any greenery around. And it's important to not only water the plants in your garden but in public places too where you might feel the plants are neglected. Yes, Tia, I will take care of it. From tomorrow, I will water the plants every single day. Miss, uh, let me help you. Thank you, young boy. This is so kind of you. I have been trying to cross the road for so long, but no one came to help me. It's my pleasure, Miss. Here. This is for you. You have been really kind to me. Oh, chocolates! Thank you so much. Wow, Tofu! I am so proud of you. When did you grow up to be so kind and caring, huh? You remind me of a beautiful story. Really? Narrate it to me, Tia, please. Kindness is beautiful. Once upon a time, there lived a ferocious lion in a dense jungle. One day, when the lion was asleep under the cool shade of a tree, a mouse ran up and down on the lion, playing around thinking that the king of the jungle was in a deep sleep. Is asleep. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> uh, come here, you little guy. I will eat you up. Oh no! Please leave me, sir. I promise I will help you one day for your kindness. Ha ha ha! You are too tiny to be of any help to me. There you go. The mouse squeals with horror and runs away. One day, the mouse was pacing up and down looking for food when he heard the lion crying for help. Help me! Somebody please help me! These cruel humans are here to take me away! Oh sir, I found you! Just be patient! I am here to help you. The mouse swiftly nibbles the net off and sets the lion free. The lion bounces in the jungle with happiness. From that day, the lion and the mouse become best friends. Thank you, my dear friend. I am sorry for grabbing you the other day. You have been very kind to me. I told you, sir, I will repay you for
show your kindness one day. It is said, when you show kindness to others, there comes a day when you reap the rewards for it later. Hey Tia, you know my friend Jim who is a year senior in school? Yes, I do. I think he's being very bossy these days. Really? What happened? Well, he thinks that our maths teacher will give us a surprise test towards the end of the month. Why does he think so? Because she gave his class a surprise test too around the same time of the year. Okay, so what's the problem? It's a surprise test, dear. How can he know when she will give it? And he keeps telling me to study for it. Well, he's advising you from his experience. Let me tell you a story to help you understand. The Musical Donkey Once upon a time, a potter had a donkey. The potter was very poor, so he didn't have enough to feed the donkey. Hence, the donkey was very thin. One night, the donkey was hungry even after his dinner. So he wandered in search of food and reached a nearby field and ate the crops. This went on for a few nights. Till one night, he met a jackal. Hello there. Hello. Is the crop here any good? Yes, it is. Besides, it is a lot more than what my owner gives me, so I can't complain. Would you like to have some cucumbers? Yes, yes, I would love to. I love cool juicy cucumbers. Okay, come. Follow me then, my friend. The jackal took the donkey to a nearby field that had cucumbers growing in it. And they both ate their tummy full. From that night, the donkey and the jackal met every night and enjoyed the delicious cucumbers in the field. One night, after a hearty meal, the donkey said he wanted to sing. I feel like singing tonight. No, 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 my friend. You must not sing. But the donkey ignored the jackal's wise advice and started singing. Hearing a donkey bray in the field alerted the farmers. They came rushing to the field with their sticks. The wise jackal knew what would happen next and jumped over the fence for his safety. But the donkey kept singing till the farmers found him. Once they did, they beat him up and chased him out of there. So you see Tofu, sometimes a wise advice is not to be ignored. Otherwise you will get chased out of a field or fail a maths test. <laughs> yes Tofu, you are right. I think I owe Jim an apology and need to start studying. I agree.
for your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.